Hey guys, and welcome back to Westcon Rec TV, where we use the Campus Recreation Department and their facilities to promote health and wellness through regular physical activity. Exercise is useful to improve quality of life and wellness in a number of ways, and everyone can benefit from adding some activity to their schedule, even if your goals aren't focused on weight loss or building muscle. In this video, we'll be sharing just a few of the positive effects of exercise to give you an idea of the true power of movement. Did you know regular exercise helps to lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels? Two major risk factors for heart disease, which is the number one leading cause of death in the US. Of course, during exercise, your blood pressure will actually rise as your body works harder to support the work that you're actually doing at the time, but it's through the use and training of your cardiovascular system that helps your body to become more efficient and lower your resting blood pressure and thus the stress on the walls of your blood vessels. With the current pandemic, many want to stay as healthy as possible. I know it's in a lot of people's minds every single day. Exercise improves overall fitness, which then helps to boost your immune system, which is the body's defenses against infections. Studies show that moderate intensity workouts could cut down on the number of colds one may have throughout the course of their lifetime. Exercise is also well known to improve brain function. When you engage in physical activity, it increases your blood flow and improves memory. It can stimulate chemical changes in the brain, which then enhance cognitive functions, including the ability to learn new information and focus and maintain a positive mood throughout the day. A successful bout of exercise is a stressful event for your body. Your heart and muscles work harder and faster than they would otherwise, and it's actually through this good stress that helps you to better accommodate for the bad stressors in your life and to relieve the pressure of those stressors to better respond and react. The ability for exercise to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety can easily be used to your advantage. Exercise could be a great way to get a natural boost in your productivity during midterms and finals. Having trouble sleeping? Well, exercise may yet again be the answer. Exercising will also stimulate the release of endorphins, or chemicals produced by your body that are associated with pleasure, motivation, euphoria, positive social interaction and exercise and can actually help set and maintain your circadian rhythm, which is essentially your body's internal clock. Now, it won't help you tell the time, but your body still has a general idea of when it's time to be up and when you should be asleep. To get all these benefits and more from your physical activity, you may be thinking you have to join a team, pay for a personal trainer, and spend the majority of your day eating, breathing, and thinking exercise. But that's just not the case. The CDC recommends 75 minutes of vigorous intensity or 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. And of course, this can be split up into as many or as few sessions as you'd like. While there's always more to be said about the benefits of exercise, that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and give us a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. And let us know if you learned anything new or if you'd like to learn more. You can follow us on our Instagram page at westcon underscore rec TV. And check back for our next video where we'll take you back on campus for a few workouts.